Hello students, let's try to understand one problem which is asked by student. What is the problem here you see student? So it is the dichromate ion is here. It is uh, oxidizing agent. It is converting SO2 to SO4. Okay, and supplying the oxygen and self it is getting reduced. So what is happening student if you can check here. So what is the oxidation state of the chromium since two chromium are there so going to be 2x. Each oxygen min that is oxidation state is minus 2. 7 oxygen are there so multiply by 7 equal to the total charge on the compound you can see here that is minus 2 is there. So if you solve out a student 2x minus 14 is equal to minus 2 plus into minus that is minus so plus in 7 into minus 2 that is 14. So 2x is equal to it is going to be minus 2 plus 14. So 2x is equal to it is going to be plus 12 x is equal to plus 12 by 2 so x is equal to going to be plus 6 so here the oxidation state is going to be what student you can write here this is going to be plus 6 so2 if you talk about so if i am considering to be x two oxygen are there each oxygen minus 2 equal to there is no charge on the compound so 0 so plus into minus that is minus only so x minus 4 equal to 0 so x is equal to going to be plus 4. So here oxidation number is going to be plus 4. Now see chromium already there plus 3. And if you consider to be this sulfur, you can consider this sulfur to be x student. 4 oxygen are there, each oxygen minus 2 equal to here minus 2. So x plus into minus minus 4 to the 8 is equal to minus 2. So x is equal to minus 2 plus 8. So it is going to be x is equal to it is going to be plus 6. So here is what is there student this is going to be plus 6. So this is all about the oxidation number. So these things we calculated. Now we are going for the another things. What other things we are going we are going to check the increase or decrease in oxidation number student. Okay increase in oxidation number and decrease in oxidation number must be equal. Okay or you can say student that is loss and gain of electron should be equal. So let us see student what you can do chromium 2 chromium 3 plus so plus 6 to 3 so that is gain of electron gain of gain of 3 electron 3 electron per atom per atom per atom 3 electron but here two atoms are there so for balancing we need to have the we need to know that is uh, how can you balance but other than oxygen and hydrogen we balance by simply multiplying with the number i multiplied here simply two up now up two atom are there so that is what per two atom per two atom what how much time is there per two atom change per two atom change student if you are calculating so what will be there so three into two so it is going to be six electron and 6 electron is in the positive form because it is added. Now, if you see, uh, see this one, this change, what is there, student? If you see these things, so see, plus 4 to plus 6, so loss by 2 electron, loss of 2 electron, so plus 4 to plus 6. Up now, we need to equal the electron in both equation, student. We need to equal the electron in both equation how can you equal here is uh, and this loss is per atom this is the per atom okay that you need to you know keep in mind so here two electron is there here six electron can we multiply by three so you will get that is minus six electron so plus six electron here and minus six electron here that can be solved easily now you can rewrite the equation by multiplying this equation by three so it is there cr207 this is going to be 2 minus plus 3 SO2 it is going to be give 2 CR3 plus and plus SO4 how much is student 2 minus here 3 multiply because here we are multiplying by 3. Um, now you see student what is happening in this state. Oxygen here 7 I uh, know balance O what is the step next step is there balance O by adding H2O. This is what the concept balance O by adding H2O in a acidic medium and H by 
h by what student h plus this is what the concept is so how can we do this one how can we do this one so let's see which type what are there so here you see oxygen 7 and 3 to the 6 7 6 how much 13 here is 12 so one water molecule here required now oxygen are balanced oxygen are getting balanced 7 3 to the 6 7 6 13 here is 4 3 to 12 and 13 of the second one hydrogen you see two hydrogen here are there here no hydrogen so you can see student here i am writing 2 h plus now this equation is balanced this whatever the equation we are observing this equation is completely balanced student what you can do for this one you can check both side okay you check student so here is checking student oh chromium oxygen sulfur hydrogen and charge this has chromium oxygen sulfur hydrogen and charge chromium is how much 2 this side how much 2 oxygen is how much 13 7 6 13 this side how much 12 1 13 here is sulfur how much are there student sulfur is 3 this side sulfur is 3 hydrogen is how much student hydrogen 2 this side hydrogen 2 charge you see student 2 minus 2 plus going to be 0 here 2 3 ja 6 plus uh, and 3 2 ja 6 minus that is also 0 so this is all balanced student thank you so much for watching i hope this will be easy to you to understand student go see the loss and gain of electron student then it will be very much equal thank you very much for watching